Hello, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Cassie Roach, and with me is Mike Lokaitis, the CIO from the state of Colorado. Mike, thank you for joining us as well. And thank you for having me here today. Absolutely. We're here today to talk a little bit about the partnership that the state of Colorado and Cisco have agreed upon um, concerning Smart Plus Connected Communities. It's a global initiative that Cisco has to bring solutions in a community basis and encourage um, sustainability in terms of the things that we're working on in citizen services. So, Mike, your team and the Cisco team have worked very hard this year to build what, it, what we're calling Colorado Connected Communities Initiative. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, Cassie. The Colorado Connected Communities Initiative provides uh, several scalable pilot programs across healthcare, education, energy, and economic development. We have put a lot of effort into this, both the government folks, uh, Governor Ritter, um, Cisco. I think we've got a creative program here that we can not only leverage within state government, but across local governments, K-12 education and higher ed as well. And we're providing that outreach today to bring those stakeholders to the table to push this important initiative forward. Thank you. And so talk to us a little bit about why partner to do that. Well, the reason why we want to partner, especially with one of our strong partners like Cisco, is Cisco already provides for us the network and cybersecurity fabric for the state of Colorado, basically giving us the leg up on delivering voice and data services, not only within agencies in the state of Colorado, but across our partners as, as well. The other issue is the huge fiscal crisis that looms in state and local government on a national level. Colorado is no exception. Colorado has to balance its budget in an extremely tough economic time. So by leveraging existing technology partnerships and leveraging public-private partnerships like this one with Cisco, we feel like we come out ahead, we're able to deliver more for less, and really provide a great product to the citizens of Colorado. So tell me, what else is going on at the state level that provides an atmosphere for this type of partnership to move forward? Well, certainly it is a fertile ground right now for cross-boundary. Uh, we've been engaging since the uh, beginning of last year in a robust dialogue with local governments and with our education partners, again, our fiscal crisis. But also, we have a transformation agenda that we started in 2007 to consolidate information and communication technology functions within state government so that we're no longer operating from a silo, agency silo perspective, which gives us an opportunity to deliver equal services across agencies within the state of Colorado. Some agencies that have gone without a technology refresh mm. for a long number of years. Sure. Well, this should help with some of that innovation. Some of the pilots that we are, have discussed and uh, will begin with in healthcare, education, and energy. Uh, in the education sector, we're working on some K-12 types of pilots, also higher ed, and encouraging folks to create collaboration and cross boundaries where there might not traditionally be some. So put together a regional approach to some of the higher ed, uh, distance learning sharing, extending programs like nursing programs, to communities where people might not have to travel any longer to participate in those programs, and then telehealth. Tell us about what you're thinking there. Well, in the telehealth arena, many Colorado citizens, but I think this is the case across the nation, have to drive great distances for consultative input from physicians. Mm -hmm. With Colorado Connected Communities Initiative, we're going to be able, I believe, to put together pilots that extend robust health care through telehealth, through video mm -hmm. conferencing, like what we're doing today, mm -hmm. to uh, two citizens that are in remote and rural areas within the state of Colorado, really reducing the amount of travel time, uh, reducing uh, the amount of energy consumed, and really extending the capabilities typically offered in urban areas to the rural parts of Colorado. That's really an important opportunity for us to extend that ecosystem using today's modern technology. Mm -hmm. Another uh, portion of the initiative is certainly to uh, provide different types of pilots in areas that might not be just the front range. So tell us about what we're thinking in the energy component with the Western Slope. 
Yes, we, we, we are working uh, on the west slope of Colorado, primarily Mesa County and Grand Junction as a municipality. And we're working with both the private and public sector in identifying buildings, uh, infrastructure there, where we can really push forward an energy efficient agenda and really optimize the utilization of energy in those buildings. We think it's a very promising initiative that should really reduce the cost of running those facilities. Yes. Well, and the other thing this year is that you've really taken a stance across these various boundaries uh, and to encourage collaboration uh, through your messaging around communicate, collaborate, and act. How does this type of partnership support that direction? Well, as I'd mentioned before, it really does give us a leg up. It gives us a platform to work with a multitude of other agencies across the state, not just within state government and across the branches of state government, to, but to work with elected officials and with citizens and, and, and management at the city, county level. And we're finding that communication to be very fertile right now as we move forward with this initiative. Well, thank you. And thank you again for spending a few minutes with us and the folks to talk about this initiative. Well, thank you so much for having me here today. This is great technology, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>